All right, we're walking back to the car, so I figure I'll show you the view that a potential shooter would have had from behind the picket fence. So this is just, it's just a parking lot, um, and it looks about the same as it did in 1963. I think that that parking thing right there wasn't here, but that was here, that, that building there. And there were people working in that building that said they didn't see anything back here. Uh, but they were working, so maybe they didn't see anything back here, and maybe there was something to see that they just missed. But this is the back side of the picket fence. And we will walk up here and we'll get a view of what what a potential shooter would have seen from behind the picket fence. Um, so here you go. This is the picket fence area, and it, like I said, it, it, it turns here. Um, there's the the death X right over top of those people right there. And then that is the first where the, the X right there, that white car just went over the first X where, um, the first X where President Kennedy was hit. But then the, again, like I said, the first shot was fired all the way back when they were at that intersection. They came down this road here and they turned left. And they had to, like when you turn left, you, you slow down quite a bit. And as they were making that left turn, is when the first shot was fired and that shot missed and they found the bullet like way over here somewhere like it had hit the ground and ricocheted up um, but then the first shot that okay so this guy's explaining his theories yeah see this guy has got this guy's explaining what happened and he's explaining his conspiracy theories so I believe this guy is a believer in the, in the multiple shooter or different shooter theory. Um, but there's the first, where the first bullet hit the president. And there's where the second bullet hit the president. People who believe in this particular theory believe in more than one shooter. The president, when he got shot the first time, was hit in the back of the neck. And the back of the, it hit in the back of the neck. It passed through his neck and hit Governor Connolly, who was sitting in front of him. The only way that can happen is if the bullet came from behind. So everyone pretty much agrees, even some of the most, some of the conspiracy people believe that the first shot, whoever fired it, whether Oswald fired it or someone else fired it, came from behind because it hit Kennedy in the back of the neck, went through Kennedy and hit, uh, hit Connolly, who was the governor of Texas at the time. That shot had to have come from behind, whether it came from up top where the school book depository is up there, down, or from somewhere else, but it had to come from somewhere behind him, and probably behind him did this way because Connolly was sitting a little to Kennedy's left, like he was like in a jump seat, so he was over a little bit. So the bullet was kind of an, coming on an angle. This shot here, the kill shot, that's the one, well this was probably a kill shot, but this was an instant kill shot. This one here is the one that there's a lot of controversy about, because if you look at Zapruder's film, and again, Zapruder was standing on that little outcropping right there. If you look at Zapruder's film, it does look like Kennedy was maybe hit from the front right side, like right above his front, his right eye, and his head kicks back into the left. There's a, if you've watched uh, Oliver Stone made a biography or made a movie about the JFK assassination, it was, and, he, and it kept saying, back into the left, back into the left. Um, and there's physics involved with this, the physics of a bullet hitting someone in the head as to how his head is going to you know, whip back from the impact of the bullet. But it looks from the video, to my untrained eye, like perhaps he was shot in the, in, the, in the front. And if he was shot in the front, in front of his right eye, this is a perfect angle to do that, where I'm at. However, the people who believe in the Oswald is the only shooter theory, um, which is what the Warren Commission decided, um, talk about when you get shot in the back of the head, the exit wound, which is what you, in, in their theory, you're seeing when, when you see the video, the front of his head kind of blows away. And the theory of the people who say the shooter was standing where I'm at right now say, well, that's because he was shot there. The people who have the theory that Oswald shot him say that, well, that wasn't the entry wound, that was the exit wound. And the exit wound is always worse than the entry wound because it goes through your, your body, in this case his head, and then it's spinning in a circle. So the exit wound is always more, more of a, a horrible wound than the entry wound. Um, the autopsy report seems to indicate that as well, that they, there was an entry wound in the back of his head and an exit wound in the front of his head. Um, believers in the conspiracy theory, of course, say that the autopsy report was either falsified or influenced by the, uh, by the uh, Warren Commission. 
So anyway, this is the view that someone would have had from the picket fence. And this is the picket fence right here. Um, so again, there's the X where President Kennedy was killed. And I've talked a little bit about some of the conspiracy theories. I don't think I have time to go over and listen to everything this guy has to say. But we're coming back here tomorrow. So if this guy is here tomorrow, I might, might go over there and see what he's got to say for himself. But in the meantime, I am going... We are going now to Fort Worth, and we're going to the Armed Forces Bowl, where Mizzou is going to be facing Army in the Armed Forces Bowl, and uh, Grace is going to be playing in the marching band. So, anyway, one last look at the picket fence in our rental car. The picket fence, the famous picket fence, and then the kind of weird death X that the city of Dallas puts every time they repave this road on the spot where President Kennedy was murdered in 1963. Have a good day, everyone.